Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial in Grasshopper. So we're gonna see today like how to um, do a few more operations with lists before we move on. So let's go into sets. I'm just gonna maybe this one you've seen it around, which is a kind of quite famous tutorial, and I really like it. So we're gonna repeat it for this series. We're gonna just copy this circle vertical. Yes. So we're gonna just build two circles, right? So we have these two circles here. We're going to just bring curves into the canvas. And I'm going to set one curve and set one curve here. So we have two curves. We're going to divide the curves again. It's something that we've done before. Um, so I'm going to do two nodes of this, like copying and just division of curves, S mm, divide, right? Uh, sorry, slider. So let's bring a slider in, change it to uh, integer type, and then edit maybe 40 iterations. So that seems good. So, uh, you can see that we are kind of altering the number of divisions in each one of these kind of uh, nodes of division based on this kind of slider, right? So that looks pretty good. Um, but when we go into lists, we could see that there's a, a few series of like, well, there's a lot of operations that some of them we've done already. Um, but there is one that is quite nice one that is shift list. So what we're going to do is just basically put this node here and what shift list will do is basically make a list and displace the order of the elements to one unit say down, right? If if you would look at the list, it would be one one unit down or basically up, right? Um so a way of visualizing that is by doing these lines, right? So lines. We're gonna do the line between this point and this point, and you see that we have this series of lines connecting this cylinder and uh, the circles in a cylinder manner. Um, but what we can do here is just basically before we connect the second list, we can just pass this list through the shift list, right? And this shift list um, also gives an option. It's telling us how much shift do you want to produce. Like in this case, it's only one by by default, right? But we could also have a slider like this one. So I'm going to copy this slider here. I'm going to leave it in zero for now. And we can just shift this list for one or more values. So let's connect instead of this list of points, this list with a shift. Right, so you see that because the shift is zero, we don't have any variation. Now we can shift it on one unit. So now basically, each point is connecting to the point adja adjacent to that one, right? As opposed to the one straight up. So that's what the shift list is doing. Um, the problem here is that we remember the, when we had that uh, tutorial on like shortest list, longest list, and this kind of stuff. Well, this command has an option specific to it that if we want to shift the list do we want to just make the last value become the first value right so we keep on shifting and basically kind of making wrapping the values around so we can just go in here and say set boolean to true and you'll see that we it solves this issue here where the first value will become the last one and we're basically kind of pushing the list to rotate and that is very kind of clear when you start kind of moving this slider around and you can see how can we actually start getting a very specific geometric result out of this operation so you can have it much denser and you can move around and the only thing that is happening here is that each point is connecting to a point that is further away in this circle so you start getting this really kind of nice pattern out of this right 
So yeah, this is a very perhaps kind of simple way of visualizing what the shifting list does and it's one of the other many operations that you can get here in shifting a list, right? Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to keep it short and the next one we're going to just start moving ahead with more complex stuff.